Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You're working on a video project and you're trying to edit the song you've got to be a particular length. So you're cutting and splicing and fading to try and get it to sound just right. But what if I told you that Premiere Pro can do all of this work for you with a tool called Remix? And it's just this simple. So I'm not gonna waste any of your time. I'm just gonna show you how to do this, but just a heads up, you're gonna need Premiere Pro Beta. So that's what I'm gonna quickly show you how to download first in your Creative Cloud account, either on a Mac or PC, you should see a section here called Beta. And once you click on this section, you should see an option for Premiere Pro's beta version. Now, sadly, this is still just in the beta version of Premiere, but if you're watching this anywhere between six to nine months in the future, it might actually be in the regular version of Premiere Pro. So now with Premiere Pro open, here's how you use the Remix feature. Click and hold your Rate Stretch tool here from the toolbar and drop down to the Remix tool. From here, you can just click and drag the end of your music to make it exactly the length you want it to be. That's it. You could also do it another way by highlighting it, opening Essential Sound, clicking on Music to designate this clip as a music track, click on the Duration checkbox, and manually key in the desired time, but I think that the Rate Stretch tool is a little bit more intuitive. So for me, I want to take my music that's about a minute and a half and trim it down to 30 seconds. So with the Remix tool highlighted, let's just click and drag this music track back down to the end of our edit here. And Premiere is going to automatically chop your music down to the specific length pretty much instantly. Now you'll notice these squiggly lines lines here and these are cuts that Premiere Pro has made to splice in different portions of the song together. So let's take a look at how these spliced portions actually sound. It's actually quite shocking how amazing Premiere Pro does at splicing different portions together. It's either impossible to hear any splicing or you wouldn't be able to tell unless you have a trained ear and know what to look for. By the way, if you like the song that I'm using, I downloaded it from motionray.com. And if you wanted to use any of our songs to just test out this feature in Premiere, you can download a watermarked free version of any of our royalty free music tracks just to play around with and actually test this out for yourself. But let's say that you actually did want to get a little bit more precise. You can actually have control over two additional features. These are found by highlighting the clip and going into Essential Sound, where this first letter allows you to control how many edits there are in your music remix and how far they're spread apart. So if I drag this all the way to the left, we'll have fewer edit points that are found closer together. And if I drag this to the right, we're gonna have more edit marks. And each of these segments is taken from farther away from the previous section. Pretty straightforward and you can play around with this and you might find that some music genres play better to one side rather than the other. And your other slider here that you can control is timber versus harmonics. But if you've updated Premiere Pro Beta recently, you might notice that it says melodic instead of timber. Different name, same process. Basically, it's just telling Premiere that when you look at these transition points here, what do you prioritize? Timber, which is the quality and tone of the sound, or harmonics and the actual note relationship, making sure that those cutting points are happening on the same note, or at least an area where the two different notes sound pleasing together. Like they're part of the same harmonic scale musically. But really with this, like in all editing, there's really no one correct answer for everything. Instead, you have a variety of parameters to play with to find what fits your situation best. But thankfully, this feature is just so good out of the box that just by clicking and dragging it to the length you want it to be, it's gonna be so good that I find that most of the time I don't even wanna go in and play with anything extra. I tend to like exactly what Premiere Pro has given me. So guys, that's just a little bit of a heads up to share with you that this feature exists and it can save you a lot of time, like ridiculous amounts of time. And maybe this is a little bit of an aside, but I think it's important to point out that one of the first things that I do with every project that I'm working with that has music is I place down the music track first, because if I like the tone and the feeling and the vibe that the music is giving me, then I find that it really naturally helps me to figure out what all the visuals should be around that. And if you know that you have a 30 second commercial, for example, being able to tailor this to the correct length that you need in an instant, it saves me a lot of time, but it also saves me creative hassle and allows me to just get to the parts that I actually want to spend creative energy on. And if you wanted another way to make your life even easier, like I mentioned before, we have countless royalty free music tracks over at motionray.com to help you really boost the quality of your creative productions. Like I mentioned before, you can download a watermark preview track for free and start to edit with it right out of the gate so you can know quickly and easily what's going to work for your project. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.